Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Robinson here again. This time we're going to continue our studies by showing you how to log on with Clever. First thing you need to do is go to our book website, bigideasmath.com. When you go there, you can choose either platform and it should say Big Ideas Math login. So choose that one and I'll go back there in a second. So and again, Big Ideas, mine comes up so quickly because I type in a lot, ideas, math, and it comes up because I've been doing it a while, but uh, if if you get a listing, just uh, choose Big Ideas Math, uh, log in, that'll be fine. Okay, so once you get to that page, uh, there's a button on the bottom called Login with Clever. Clever is the company that the school has chosen to put in your ID numbers, your login information, and that way all you have to do is press that button. Once you press that button, it may ask you for your school, so type your school's name, Peekskill Middle School in this case. It may ask you about your ID number. Your ID number is your five-digit uh, number that you use on your schedule, also for lunch. And it's gonna ask, also ask for a password. Dr. Rob has the password. So he will give it to you in class. Once you get that information typed in, just click on log in and you'll be in. So once you're in, and I would also recommend when the save comes up to the right hand side, would you like to save that to your computer? I would recommend that you do save it. That way you'll have it already in the computer and all you have to do is just uh, bookmark the site and it'll log in for you like it does for me. So there are three lines on the top that I would like you to press. And let's go back to the computer website. So I'm gonna click Login with Clever. And again, mine logs in, that information is already stored, so you should save it. So there are the three lines on the right-hand side on the top next to the bell, and it looks like pancakes. So if you press that, I would like you to go to Skills Trainer. Skills Trainer is the uh, platform that uses old math terms from grade levels previously, as well as going to new grade levels to allow you to go uh, into more up advanced work. Here's a copy of our math book, the Big Ideas Math Book, and it's in Skills Trainer that we'll be working a lot. On the left hand side, notice it's defaulted to grade number seven. So here's all the seventh grade work you'll be doing with Dr. Rob. So that's a lot of work and Big Ideas has it for you. So our first topic will be dealing with the number system and I don't see it over here. So what I'm gonna do is go back to grade six because we need to go backwards to get a good foundation. And if I need some practice on my sixth grade work, here's my sixth grade work topics that you should have learned before getting to Dr. Rob. So I'm gonna scroll down to number systems. I see it over there and go into where we're dealing with comparison of integers. So we're talking about comparing integers. So we would choose our answer. So which temperature is colder? And I will choose negative 176. And am I right? Yes, I am right. Now I can go to the next question which is which temperature is colder. Notice they give you a similar question and that's how skills trainer does to, to train you in your skills. It goes over a lot of similar questions. So I'm gonna pick one negative 162 and press check and I got it right, there's my check mark. But suppose I didn't know how to do this, what can I do? Well, let me press stop. And if you need help, there's my score two out of two. Uh, if you need help, there's a tutorial video that they have. So it's a short video that you click on and you can watch it. And here it is. And it's a matter of fact, two videos that they have. So they'll teach you how to do it. You click on uh, play. If you want to watch the other video, there's the other video. You click on play. The diagram shows the coldest recorded temperatures for seven. All right. It also has it in Spanish. So if you click on view in Spanish. 
La línea numérica muestra las temperaturas más frías registradas. Okay, so we're covered on both languages. So this is a very good platform to use for, for us. Once we uh, get uh, to know how to do this problem, we can go click practice again, which will allow us to go back to practicing again, or we could return to the basic skills, and I'll go to return to skills. Notice it goes back to seventh grade. That's the default, which is our grade. If you need to go back to sixth grade, just click on the six, and it'll drop down to the six and go back to what you need to do. So that's pretty much the platform. So we're going to be using big ideas a whole lot in our class. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And this is Dr. Robinson signing off. So I'll see you in class. Have a good day. Bye-bye.